always gets up early in the morning to pull a very special train. This train is known as the Flying Kipper. The Flying Kipper is filled with fish that gets delivered from Tinmouth to the mainland. Whenever Henry is away to not pull the kipper, James is going to take it. However, Henry and James have both been sent away for repairs, leaving Sir Topham Hatt in quite the predicament. The Flying Kipper is without an engine, he told the engines one night at the sheds. I need someone to take the position. May I get any volunteers? Thomas and Percy, mischievous in their ways, spoke up. Perhaps you should get Gordon to do it, peeped Thomas. He's a fast and strong engine like Henry, added Percy. Gordon scoffed. What rubbish. An express engine like myself can't go around smelling like a fish engine. So Topham had laughed. All fair points. All fair points, he said, before turning to Gordon. You shall be taken off express duties as Murdoch will take over. You'll be the Kipper engine till further notice. Gordon was speechless. <laughs> Early next morning, Gordon was at the harbor in the sighting, waiting while Percy shunted his train. Gordon grumbled to himself as the smell of fish filled the air. Rotten fish, he muttered. Instincts of indignity. Unbecoming of an important engine like myself. I'm sad to say that Gordon had been so sleepy from being up so early that he had fallen asleep. Percy Wake had woken him up bones. after shunting the work train. Hard like me? Gordon was alarmed. He had to couple up to the train to set off in time. <whistles> Once he did, he set off after the guard's whistle blew. Gordon was running smoothly through the night. The night was peaceful, and the smell of fish was left behind in the wind. This is a nice change. This is a nice change indeed, Gordon boasted as he thundered down the line.
soon changed as he went on. He began to go slower and slower, puff by puff, until he had came to an absolute standstill. What has happened to me? asked Gordon. You silly engine, called out his driver. You were so busy dozing off and grumbling that you forgot to take on coal. Now we're stranded. And they were. And the smell of fish had came back to fill the air around Gordon, making him feel very ill. Percy was called in to bring a truck full of coal, and the driver of fireman made sure to fill up Gordon nicely before they set off again. Luckily, they had made up for lost time, arriving at each station with deliveries of fish. Gordon later trundled back to the sheds, feeling embarrassed. I'm a silly engine indeed, he said to himself as he puffed slowly home. Gordon had learned a valuable lesson. Not being prepared can stink later on down the line.